So, let's get this ball rolling. What's in the news today? Well, basketball celebrity Mikel Jordan of the Chicago Pitbulls, the Chicago Pitbulls, Mikel Jordan. He recently released a brand new brand of shoes that he calls Flying Jordans. Now, it's come under some controversy. The Flying Jordans evidently weigh 10 pounds, the shoes. 10 pounds per shoe. Why Mr. Mr. Jordan decided to implement such a weird manufacturing flaw, in my opinion, remains to be seen. The only quote he gave us, or anyone to the public, was simply that heavy shoes make for better runners and flyers. Yeah. Mikel, you forgot to mention that you have wings, so you can fly without shoes. Okay? Remember your own abilities and what we regular people can and can't do, okay? Just a reminder. All right, so that's the celebrity news. In other news, scientists are developing a new drug that enhances eyesight. So they want to accomplish something so great that evidently the formula will allow you to see miles ahead. Miles. Say goodbye to binoculars, scopes, all that kind. The, the only side effect so far that, come about, uh, that has come around is simply that the eyes fall out of the sockets seconds after first administration of the drug. Yeah. Back to the drawing board, guys. I like my eyes where they are. Keep that drug away from me. Okay, we need some happy news now. So, let's talk about this one. I like this story right here. A seven-year-old brother and a six-year-old sister were on their way home from school where they were almost attacked by a child molester. Alas, that asshole had no idea what was in store for him. For these two kids knew the art of fuck you up foo. That's a real martial arts. You, don't, you can't look it up in your world, but in my world it's real. Fuck you up foo. And when he got within range of the kids, they literally twisted his body up and turned him into a fucking pretzel. <laughs> yes, and guess what? He's still alive, still breathing. The art of fuck you up foo is not to kill you, but to fuck you up. And those kids certainly did. When the authorities arrived, they asked the children if they were okay. The children, sweet as they are, their response was simply, you should ask him that. <laughs> Way to go, kids. Way to defend yourselves. Your parents should be proud. You've learned well. Okay.